Breaking news. Ladies and gentlemen, My Hero Academia chapter 266 and spoilers alert if you haven't read this chapter, I don't know why you clicked on this video, but spoilers alert because RIP twice. Alright, let's get that out the way. That's one. Two, is Dobby Toya Todoroki? That's really the major question that needs to be answered because my god, something happened in this chapter that we all need to discuss and we all need to theorize as to what really happened, okay? But before we get into that, go plus ultra and smash that subscribe button if you are new. It lets me know you rock with the content that I put out here on this channel. And without further ado, let's get into this review. Now, as the fight between Dobby and Hawks pursues, you have the moment at the beginning of the chapter where Dobby lights Hawks up completely with his flames. And you have Hawks escape from the fire, not unscathed, but seamlessly, right? He has uh, that, you know, scar over his uh, his his left eye where, you know, it's, it's, it's closed probably due to the burn, so probably after this entire fight happens and, you know, he goes and sees Recovery Girl and heals, he'll probably have a scar over that eye due to the flames, right? Hawks makes the remark to Dobby, says, hey, Twice was also in that flame, you could have killed him, and Dobby makes this snark remark and says, nah, you have that hero bone in your body, you would never let somebody uh, get injured or hurt at the expense of your own life. This is when Hawks has that internal monologue to himself and he remarks that, you know, my wings are burned, I'm not going to be able to operate 100%. But he also makes that connection that Twice is kind of out of commission due to the fact that, you know, he has sliced up his bones and muscles, which would make doubling extremely difficult for himself. Twice is in no condition to just be pumping out clones of himself. All right. You see him, and I'm referring to Twice in this instance. After Dobby takes another shot at Hawks, after um, Twice catches Hawks with one of his doubles, and he's like, burn him, I'm good. And that's when Dobby lights up Hawks again. It does not connect with him, and that's when you have this scene where Twice is like, hot, cold, and all of this is happening on page four. This is, of course, referring back to Twice split personality, right? It's hot to him, but it's cold to his double or vice versa, depending on how you look at the scenario. Dobby tries to encourage Twice in this moment, and he tells him, look, the others are waiting for you. You're good. None of us hold this against you. Go nuts. Twice says, okay. They high five each other, and he tries to escape out the back door while Dobby holds off Hawks. None of this is even relevant to this top three hero currently, because Hawks gets behind everybody and comes through the balcony with his, you know, feather blade. He has this moment. And he just completely ends Twice's existence in one slice. There's nothing. He cuts through Twice's doubles and he cuts through Twice himself, right? But it's interesting that in this moment that you have where Dobby, in a fit of rage, yells out to Hawks. And he's like, Takami Kego. And Hawks is just shocked. And he's like, how do you know my name? Who are you? And it's there that the scene cuts. And then you pick up where everything is really starting to go downhill for the villains. Now, we really pick up if you fast forward with Toga and Mr. Compress. And they've finally gotten captured. And all of this is happening. And then you see one of Twice's doubles comes in, stabs. Who is this man? I don't know who this man is, y'all. But he's a hero. He captured both of them. And after Twice frees them... Mr. Compress and Toga's like, perfect, excellent, this is great, make more doubles, we're about to turn the tides of the battle. Twice's ability to be able to replicate himself is absolutely astounding because his doubles don't transfer damage back to the original. So these are just soldiers who have all the knowledge and abilities of Twice but don't take damage and he can just push these clones out time and time again. But this is where you have this moment where Twice is like, Sorry, Compress, I can't make anymore. And Mr. Compress is like, why not? And this is where you get the revelation that this is just a double of twice. And he can't. he's trying his best to hold this one clone together in order for him to pass his information along. And he's just so apologetic to Toga. And he's like, let me give you back this your handkerchief. And he's just like, let me give you back your handkerchief. And Mr. Compress and Toga are just bawling their eyes out. But not, okay, they're not really bawling their eyes out, ladies and gentlemen. But I just want to make this revelation that 
in their own way, they are very saddened by the fact that they understand that this is the only clone that Twice can make left of himself. And that's where you have Toga have this flashback where she first gave him the handkerchief and she gives him the words. And you see this on page 16. And she says, stay covered keeps your whole. Staying covered keeps you whole, huh? And um, this is where you see him melting away. And in that moment, he says, can't make more of me. Sorry for everything. I mean it. I found myself blessed with friends better than I could ever be. Thank you for saving me. As he's crying and melting, it's all blending together. He says, die Hawks, but you don't get to tell me that I was unlucky. Being here with them, I was happy. My God, I don't even know how to feel about this. Like twice has always been one of those characters that everybody loves and understands like how people loved twice and understood him as the villain is how people looked and loved itachi but they understood him as the villain like if there's one person that you let pass for being a villain it was itachi and i feel like people let twice also get away with being the villain but now that he's gone it's like you have this hole that you're like i just don't know what to do with my life anymore this brings up a very interesting thought process that i've had is twice's death going to strengthen the paranormal liberation front I would argue yes. I feel like their numbers are going to be cut drastically down. I mean, it's happening right now. Their numbers are dwindling as we speak. But I be I believe that there's going to be that small group of individuals that manages to escape. And with them escaping allows for this massive development of surge of power that is going to come from them. Who knows what's going to come from Toga in this moment. It's possible that she's going to have a complete mental relapse and going to just walk away from the paranormal liberation from altogether. Could her quirk bloom into something more? Who really knows? Uh, Dobby is going to be permanently changed. Mr. Compress is going to be permanently changed. Whoever else is going to survive is going to be permanently changed. And it's going to work out in favor for them, but it's going to make a, a, a just a massive heap of trouble for the heroes in times to come. The biggest question, and I want you to answer this in the comment section below, Toya Todoroki, Dabi, Hawks, what is their connection to each other? Is it possible that Dabi got intel about who Hawks' real identity was? It's possible. I'm not going to say that it's not possible. Um, we've never seen it happen before, it, to the best of my knowledge. I could be wrong. Leave it in the comment section below if I am wrong reg with, with regards to that. But I am not certain that they've ever gotten intel on hero's true identity you had that one moment with uh, endeavor where um i forgot what that villain's name was the one who can manipulate paint uh in the past he knew of endeavor's identity so to speak i mean he he knew where he lived but i don't know if he knew of his identity you see what i'm saying it's possible to find out where a pro hero lives but to know their identity is something completely different and the way dobby actually spoke to hawks it's 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 interesting now that I think about it, I don't know how old Hawks is, but it's entirely possible due to the fact that Hawks trained under Endeavor. He was at Endeavor's house while he was being trained at the same time that Toya was also being trained. So they could have known each other. They could have been friends in the past. They could have been sparring partners in the past. Who really knows? But that is all I have for y'all for this video. If you made it to the end, thank you for rocking with me. If you are new, go plus ultra and smash that subscribe button. Let me know you rock with the content that I put out here on this channel. Like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and like always, keep it safe and wrap it tight. I'm out. The betrayer's life signal is nearby.
motion sensors and artillery everywhere. I told you all to leave me here. I am where I belong. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. And now you seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance, just as it was mine. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. 